Jackass is the only movie that I can think of where the theater concession sales must be low. You know, who, who can eat watching this? No, you can't. I was hungry before leaving the house, and I told my stump, you just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I've almost thrown up in each one of these movies. I know, I know. And I'm not about to start. Well, if you had the bucket of popcorn, you could always throw it up in there. Martin almost gave me a bucket of popcorn. I was gagging next to him. I was crying because my gag reflexes uh-huh. were so I was spitting up, and yeah, Martin was, was like, yeah, man, take this. And was, I, was about to, I was about to throw up. It was Steve-O eating the, the piss ice. See, he was even saying. Hey everyone, the Double Toasted Live Tour is coming to an end with our final show in Dallas, Texas, February 18th at Viva's Lounge. I'm trying to get an after-party spot for all you VIPs and super VIPs, so get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com, and I'll see you soon. Ah, uh, peep, you know what it is. Jackass. <laughs> Forever. For. Ever. Forever. <laughs> like they try to be old ass before it's done. <laughs> Shit, they they put this out here. They didn't know that's gonna be the truth. They ain't going nowhere. I I no. I tend to disagree with you. Them fools ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you. I've seen the future. Here we go. Right here. Old ass. That's Jackass 14 right there. <laughs> they gonna be doing this shit years from now. I ain't going nowhere. Man. <laughs> like I said, they say it's gonna stop. But will they stop? Will there just be that demand? Do people still, because Jackass, Jackass has been like the oddest thing in Hollywood, man. Sure. Like, it, it's just nothing but a bunch of stupid shit and dick and balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're right. It's, it's gator punks doing, hurting themselves on purpose and showing their dick and balls. And showing their dick and balls. You know and what? getting huge laughs and big money for it. It's funny if you... Toss yourself into a wall while your dick's hanging out. Number one <laughs> at the box office. I'll ask, what will Jackass be like once we're older? Well, it'll get more mature. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Believe it or not, it did get a little more mature. <laughs> what you're looking at right now, yeah. <laughs> they've actually grown up a little bit. <laughs> After you pedal your bike, the faster the other guy's hand goes back. <laughs> you said it wasn't. <laughs> wow. Today we're going. To- <laughs> Actually, I think Johnny Knoxville turned fifty to- today. Did he turn fifty today? I think it was. I think it was today. I know it was like the first couple of days in February. He he turned what today? It's either t- if it's not today, it's tomorrow or the day, or the day after. Probably. Okay. Well, happy birthday, Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> Hope it was a good one, man. <laughs> By the way, that bull says happy birthday to right. him. <laughs> He's trying to make it your last yeah. one. <laughs> for old time's sake. Yeah, for old time's sake. Should I think that's the same bull from 20 years ago? <laughs> I think that's that same bull. The bull's been saving it up. <laughs> that's, that's that same re- re- bull. Remember me, bitch? Yeah. Hey, bitch, I remember you. <laughs> Bring your ass in. <laughs> You got a lot of nerve coming back around here, Knoxville. Uh, he got him good this time. <laughs> that bull was ready. <laughs> Shit, if you did. <laughs> that bull was ready. Because he spun in the air twice. <laughs> he been waiting on Johnny for years, man. <laughs> ready to put that bull out the pasture so he can study. He's like, nah, uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Fernando sends his regards. <laughs> oh! I told you never come back around here, Johnny. <laughs> When you gonna listen, man? There ain't a bunch of NASA scientists right now. They got his ass good. <laughs> Why would you ever hang out with those hang dudes? Hang out with those motherfuckers. I would never turn my back on them, man. They must have the best drugs. <laughs> shit, you gonna need them after this shit. Exactly. I ain't talking about legal drugs. I'm no, talking no, about no. aspirin. <laughs> exactly. Morphine. Yeah. Morphine. They yeah. can't even let a brother get a. Get a, a decent cup of coffee, man. You. <laughs> That's Eric Andre, yo. Who got see, knocked the hell out. But see, him being Eric Andre, <laughs> a, a, a famous person, he figures like, I can hang with these boys. This will be fun. But I ain't part of the crew, so I can just watch from a distance. You No. no. If you there. Yeah. If you there. If you there, you part of the crew. Mm-hmm. You ain't. No. You, you, no, you are. <laughs> There's you, no you, spectators. No. You ain't special. <laughs> You ain't getting, you ain't giving privileges. <laughs> and what, the thing that got me with Eric Andre, they played on this brother's ego. Yeah, they did. That woman came, because he came up there and he's like, let me get a cup of coffee. And the woman's like, oh, hey, I'm a fan. Can I, can I get a picture? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He started handing the phone over and 
Bam! <laughs> hey, thing is, yeah, sure, the punch might have got him, but his ego Yo, was bruised yeah, after right, that. Right, right. Man, shit, I thought, I thought she was a fan. I thought bitches really wanted my phone number right now. <laughs> Yo, man. You set me up like that. <laughs> what did you guys do to Eric? Well, We'll show y'all something, man. Oh, yeah. They gave me this. Did you get one of these? I, you know what? I was going to walk away from it until somebody opened it up. I was like, oh, yeah, you got to give me that. Uh, I'm just going to ask y'all. I think this is innocent enough. Uh, what does that look like to y'all? Dinosaur? Yeah, okay, sure. Mm-hmm. A lizard? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 sure. Technically. Yeah, yeah, technically, yeah. technically yeah. Kaiju? Te- yeah. yeah, technically, yes. <laughs> it is a lizard with a very big belly. <laughs> like a kangaroo mm-hmm. pouch right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. They were giving these out. Uh, I would just say, uh, beginning of the movie is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I would say about these guys, man. <laughs> these guys here, they uh, now they 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 could be hinting that they are passing the torch, or who knows? Maybe they will be doing this shit when they're eighty-five, ninety. Hey, people are living longer. You know, healthcare mm, is better. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It ain't that damn good. <laughs> You're going to need the <laughs> nanotech. <laughs> we might have it at that point. <laughs> Maybe Android bodies you can, you can put your consciousness in. Yeah, so they might have robot bodies at that time. <laughs> With jackass forever. If they're not doing the jackassery themselves, they could be hinting that they're about to pass the torch to a new generation of jackasses out there. Or maybe it's their ti- maybe, maybe the title is their way of saying that, you know what? No matter how old we get, we'll always be jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the jack out the ass, but not the ass out the yeah, jack. Right yeah, now. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. C- continuing the conversation with their age, it's cool to see them. Em, you know, embrace being 50. It's not like they're denying it. It's not like they're doing this stuff saying, look, we still got it. You know, they're like, no, no. they're fully aware. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very much aware. I mean, yeah. just by the fact that they do fewer, at least Johnny and Steve do fewer stunts. Yeah. Do fewer physical stunts. But they've owned up to their age. You know, they've admitted that they can't do a lot of these things mm. that they do, that they used to do anymore. Mm. You know, uh, it's funny because uh, even Johnny Knoxville in the middle of the movie, even he said, you know, it started out with his hair being jet black. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And by the end, that shit was yeah. pure white. I was I was happy for him. I was like, oh, he finally felt comfortable enough to stop dyeing it. Yeah. I was like, stop, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you can't see him with the gray hair hosting the show and then cut to all these cuts with him with his hair jet black. You're like, bro, no, come on. No, bro. that no, that shit didn't. You didn't just start the movie with jet black hair and just gradually turn gray. No, uh-huh. you, you just gave up <laughs> at some point. You just said, I'm 50. Yeah. <laughs> so be it, man. Um, you know, though they are older, I do have to, I do have to admire, uh, you know, I have to admire the balls of these guys, which, sure. you, which you see, uh, so. which you see a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> so you go admire them one way or another. <laughs> see a lot of balls. And you know, also the, the just the, the, the painful, the painful dedication that they have to, to what they're doing, the painful dedication that they that they put themselves through, the way they just—I mean, seriously, people's it, terrifying insect bites. Yeah, we ain't talking about mosquito bites. No, we ain't talking about fangs. You know, goddamn just, vampire fangs yeah. on a tarantula, uh-huh. bite uh-huh. nipples. Right, right, or just a hive of bees on the uh, on your genitals. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm allergic to, to bees to begin with, so watching that was painful for me. But even more than the uh, than the pranks and the stunts and the craziness, I'm gonna tell you. I finally kind of figured out what the appeal of Jackass was. We want to go in there and laugh and have a good time with all the crazy stunts that they're doing, all the pranking that they're doing on each other. But really, I think what what uh, just slightly more than that, what really keeps people loving these movies and loving these guys is, you know, they they've been friends for 20 years, and watching these guys with you know the camaraderie that they have the love that they have for each other mm-hmm. now there's some there's some people that are gone you know you might know some of these people you know bam mcgara is not here anymore he uh he he's in the middle of a lawsuit with them and also he's had his substance abuse abuse problems and they just felt like they, they said they love him but they just 
this is not helping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he he couldn't consistently pass his drug test. No, he, Adderall, I think, is what he got tested for last time. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. and they just come, like, come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> we, we told you. Mm. Um, Ryan Dunn, of course, he died in I believe twenty twenty twelve twenty twelve was it was twenty eleven I think. Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, it was twenty eleven. He was in a Porsche. And he crashed. He, even the guy that was, or the person that was in the car with him, uh, they died. He died in a car crash. It was sad, you know, of course. Uh, they dedicate the movie to Ryan Dunn. But for those who, for those who, uh, who still remain and watch these, these movies and love these guys, you know, it is the, com- the camaraderie with them and the, f- and, and, and the, and the affection they have for each other, the love they all have for each other. You know, uh, it's infectious, man. You feel like you feel like that, that they're making you feel like you're part of the team. And then you're thankful that you're not. <laughs> right. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> yeah. Because at, at, at first you're thinking like, man, I wish I was part of this crew. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be fun to hang yeah. out with these guys. No, hell, you see what happened to him? Oh, hell no. I wish, man, I wish those were my friends. No, no, man. You don't wish these were your friends right here. Un- unless you want, unless you're constantly looking over your shoulder and expecting this shit. You don't know, it's a, because you're like, man, I wish these were my friends and I wish I could hang out with them. And then you wise up and you're like, what the f- am I thinking? No. Well, it, no. It, it is one of these things where they do shit to each other. That's not even part of like the setup stunt that you like. If somebody did that to me, if even a friend, I would beat their f- ass. Yeah. But, but instead they laugh it off and they, it, it makes it normalized. Like, oh, oh, OK, well, it, then I guess. This is just how it is. Man, it's like, man, these guys are true buddies. They must be true buddies because they're constantly trying to kill each other. What did you guys do to Eric? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. But man, this, like you saw this shit constantly exploding around you. You never know when you're going to get hit with something. Well, you're going to get cut a, by something. The thing they used to do with the electric clippers, just go up the back of the head and just yeah. shave a divot in somebody's head and laugh about it. Yeah, man, this is insane. You die. Trying to be their friends, <laughs> you would die trying to be their friends. And if you didn't die, your your health premium was a beat through the roof. Mm-hmm. You would have to get a special health insurance to be friends with the jackasses. Yeah, yeah. Who would insure those guys? No one. <laughs> <laughs> they just happen to have a lot of money. Ain't nobody taking no risk. Are you? You make movies about trying to kill yourselves. They're yeah. not giving you any insurance. And if they we are, it's gonna be crazy high. Right, right. But the friendship between them all makes you feel included, man. It's a huge appeal. You know, you, you, you want to keep going. You want to, you want to, I mean, if you grew up on these or you watch these or you, you love, you love the movies, you, you, you want them to keep going. You wish it was forever, but you realize at some point, no, they need to they, stop. They, yeah, they have yeah, to yeah. stop. Y'all, y'all are make, you're cracking me up. I love that you're doing this, but I'm concerned for you. And I, yeah. yeah, I want you to stop. Johnny Knoxville can't take any more concussions, y'all. Concussions aren't great. But as long as you have them before you're 50, it's cool. And Knoxville's 49. So we're good. They are, they are going, they, these guys are going to the hospital more often now mm-hmm. after these sure, after these stunts and after these crazy things. You know, uh, for us to ask them to keep going, that would just be selfish on our part. Mm-hmm. You know, because these guys are going, it's only a matter of time at this age before they're going to die. Cruel and unusual. You know, they're going to be like those uh those football players in, in yeah. concussion. Yeah, there. yeah, with, with CTE. Yeah, when they got brain damage and they go crazy attacking their families. Or, you know, they're going to start doing interviews, doing, shaking and shit the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I remember back when we did that crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, I bet mm-hmm. you do. Every time you look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> you shaking like a bowl of jello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, uh, you know, but those stunts are hilarious, man. Those stunts are are. Those stunts are, are crazy, which, you know, needless to say, you saw it in the trailer right here. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, I admit, I'm talking about they need to stop, but it is more impressive since they're older. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, half the, like a lot of the, a lot of the uh, things that keep you watching is like, wow, how their old ass going to do this? Uh-huh. <laughs> and, yeah. Shot are, out of cannons. And <laughs> are, are you really going to go through with this stunt? Yeah. Tossed around in porta potties. Mm. I mean, banged up against the wall. You know, the way they take a hit is great. The way they fall on their ass is great. But, you know, it is, I have to say, 
when you see a gray haired Johnny Knoxville get tossed on his ass, it's a lot more impressive. Sure, sure. But, you know, it's also a thing where you're used to movies with stunts where it's like, all right, this is a trained stuntman, there's a coordinator, there's yeah. wires that are CGI'd out, and nah, this is the real thing. And I got to tell you, the stunts are awesome, but my favorite parts of these movies is when they is when they prank each other. Yes. Is when they, <laughs> you know, they, they did a Silence of the Lambs dark room bit. I'm not going to tell you what happens with that, but that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah the, the actual setup, that, that's one, that's funny enough, but the shit they did extra to f*** these guys oh. was way funnier. They got grown men or dark room talking about, let me out, open the door, please. <laughs> and, and they got like a, they got like a, they got night vision. So oh, you, see you just see them scrambling on the walls. <laughs> they, they, they look at the doorknobs. <laughs> God, please help me. <laughs> they, look like, they look like crazy people in the nut house, man. They, <laughs> it's insane. It's funny. It's funny. Uh, the grandpa getting, getting thrown through the roof. You saw that in the trailer. That was one of my, my favorite parts of the movie. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm amazed after all these years that they're able to still even pull these pranks on each other. I know. Yeah, you think they'd be hyper <laughs> aware, hyper vigilant about it, but now they get caught. Yeah, these are these are some of the these are some of the strangest friendships. Cause like I said, they're always <laughs> trying to kill each other, man. Always trying to prank each other. It's like having best friends that you never turn your back on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Should I trust my enemies more than I trust these fools over here? If they if they are strapping your ass down to a chair where you can't move, you know something bad's about to happen. Yeah. Gee, didn't set myself up for failure on this one. Aaron, please relax. What are you doing? Boy, they did Aaron McG- McGay. He, he he got it the worst. He did uh, th- throughout this whole thing. I think he got it the worst. I mean, I don't know what he did to them. I don't know. If, I don't even know if they like him. But, but at, he got it the worst. At that point, when they poured honey on him and then dropped the salmon, I was I knew I was like, oh, oh shit. Oh, I knew it was gonna be too. People, it, it's a bear. Ask yourself what 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 animal loves honey and what animal loves salmon. <laughs> My daddy. No, no, no. That's not your daddy about to come out that door. Right Unless your dad is a bear. Oh my God. You asked for that with wearing that shirt. They're about to kill this man. They just having fun. And like, and yeah, Aaron, I don't know what the what, what he did to them or what if he volunteered for all this crazy shit, but he got it the worst, man. Especially when it came to his nuts. Yeah, you know, there would there would uh and then there are stunts that you think, like, why would they even do that it's not even a clever stunt it's not amazing it's just painful there's a there's a so-called stunt with a skateboard i'm just like oh yeah what why would you do yeah, that yeah i know that's, i know that's, that's not even yeah there's nothing i mean well i'm gonna laugh but there's nothing impressive about it mm-hmm. <laughs> just I mean, getting the, hurt. Only, the only thing that's impressive is that the a guy said okay i'll, I'll go do ahead it. and do yeah. it yeah it was because <laughs> you look at it you're like no, nah. <laughs> like some of this shit takes complicated setups, and uh-huh. you know, and, and we couldn't pull it off. That crazy shit right there that they did with the skateboard. Any of us could do this at home, but why? <laughs> it's it'd be like if somebody said, "Hey, for the next stunt, I'm gonna take the skateboard, and just crack it over the back of your head." Yeah, okay. and you said, "Yeah, okay." One of the places they really top themselves in this is uh, is with body fluids, man. You know, there's a. There's a lot of, uh, well, you know, you have the usual shit, piss, vomit, body functions that happen. Don't go into this with a weak stomach. <laughs> no, no, people uh, trying to light farts underwater where you almost see an anus. You know, assholes are, yeah, I, I have to tell you, this is the first time I have been to movies for years. I mean, I, I, people, I'm 50 years old. I've been going to movies all my life. I can tell you, Jackass is the first movie that gave me an anus. <laughs> A man's anus in the movie. That was not a that was not a porno. Sure, sure. Jackass is the only movie that I can think of where the theater concession sales must be low. You know who who can eat watching this? No, you can't. I was hungry before leaving the house, and I told my stomach, "You just gonna have to deal with 
<laughs> I've almost thrown up in each one of these movies. I know, I know. And I'm not about to start. Well, if you had the bucket of popcorn, you could always throw it up into M- that. Martin almost gave me a bucket of popcorn. I was gagging next to him. I was crying because my gag reflexes uh-huh. were so I was spitting up and yeah, Martin was, was like, Yeah, man, take this. And was, I was about to I was about to throw up. It was Steve O eating the the piss ice. See you <laughs> see <was> saying. Well, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I would say do have a couple of beers <laughs> when you go. Hey, it does help. No, it's fun with a couple of beers, man. Um, I will say with the uh, with the with with the with the with the fluids and the penises, uh, it probably got to be a little too much for me. There's a lot of semen and penis jokes in here. It's just a lot of semen in uh, penis. Period. Uh, 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 considering that most movies have zero semen. <laughs> This one has a lot. I had a little bit too much. I mean, you know, we ain't talking about some. There's something about marriage shit no, right here. No, no, no. we talking no. about people, a whole city being covered with semen, man. <laughs> and there are so many dicks. So, 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 so many so dicks. Many dicks. I got to give that to Faye. So many dicks. <laughs> <laughs> just, at the end of the movie, I was just like, God damn, that's a lot of dicks. Well, like I said, I, I feel like there were so many dicks just because every time there was a dick, it didn't require somebody falling from a, a great no. height or getting banged. It was it was almost like it almost became homoerotic. Yeah, like I'm, Chris Chris Pontius, he did almost no physical stunts. Maybe everything he did involved his dick. He physically pulled that dick out. Yeah, several times, man. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious people. I'm not. Hey, listen. I'm not trying to say that it was a bad thing. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to find. There it is. Yeah, there's Chris Pontius back there looking like Bugs Bunny and Drag and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all know Chris Pontius, party boy, man. He 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 does the whole thing where he pulls his penis out and does that that dance move and it's just flapping everywhere. Uh, it almost gets homoerotic, man, because they now they're playing. That that dicks are this close to each other and they're playing games with them. Uh-huh. Like they got they got jokes in there like how flat can I make my dick? <laughs> Turns yeah. out pretty flat. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's not that I'm un- it's not that I'm uncomfortable with them doing nudity. Shit, they could be each other for all I care. You know what? You can't be uncomfortable if you are at first. Yeah. They do it no. so much, you just like all right. Yeah, no, they they could be each other for all I care, and you know they might. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of dicks that come very close to each other. Not in yeah, no hom- no homophobia here, man. If they, I admire the way that they are actually comfortable with enough yeah. to whip that dick out and show it to millions of people. Yeah. You know, uh, and 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 listen, a lot of those uh, a lot of those penis jokes are actually funny, man. Uh, I'm not saying that none of them are funny. They got something called the <laughs> the the dumb dumb game, where they got these these flip flops, and if you get a <laughs> if you get an answer wrong, that flip flop slaps you in the dick, man. And y'all know flip flops hurt. I don't, we're a different age now, but I used to get my ass beat with a flip flop sometimes. Yeah, I never got that one. I got that one. Them flip flops hurt. You, when you put them shit. When you put that shit on, you see them all like flippity yeah, flopping. Yeah, yeah, Shit, you put the right angle at it, hold it the right way. That shit hurts. Well, and they have a high powered spring on these. And they have a hydraulic spring on mm-hmm. that. They, 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 this is something that's early on in the movie, and I tell you, man. Uh, that is one of the penis jokes that I found hilarious. Poofies, who played the piano on Elton John's album, Mad Man Across the Water? That's why I accidentally missed the button once. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Aaron gets it the worst, he man. He does. He wasn't even playing, that wasn't even his question. No, he gets it at, at times when he's not supposed to. No. I, I think he's the runt of the bunch. Like they just, they they just, they love to pick on him. I mean, he's been there a while. Yeah, no, he has. I mean, when he when they got him with that joke, when he he he, he, he wanted to play like he was a terrorist. Yeah. And he thought he was, a, and then the, the dude that was driving the cab, it was somebody who was a real terrorist. At least they were acting like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he thought he was about to die. <laughs> they pulled a gun on him. Uh. And I tell you, anyone. Anyone who allows themselves to be punched in the dick by somebody who can hit with the force of a truck, Shh. they got my respect. I just Googled the hardest punch ever recorded. <laughs> Again, it's Aaron. <laughs> I'm surprised Aaron still got a dick. Me, me too. 
If he does, it should just be pushed in and flattened. Yeah, you would think that whatever's in the nutsack would just be <laughs> dissolved. Should I think that? Yeah. <laughs> It's, just, it's peanut butter in the mess. Yeah. <laughs> Should have got them almond jelly in there. <laughs> that's that was, that was some rough watching right there, my friend. Yeah, and I laughed my ass and off. And it at just that. kept escalating it. I laughed so hard at that. And <laughs> and they uh, and Stevo. There's a scene with Stevo and his his penis is 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 front and center. And he puts bees on it. Bees. And, but, no, Dozens. And, yeah, and it ain't like that. That those bees are they, 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 you know, they're smoked out. They don't. They're not harming anything. No, they, they sting the shit out of his mm, balls. Yeah. Uh. So again, respect. <laughs> Believe me, because I wouldn't do that. Right. I mean, respect, but also, really, <laughs> what can I get you to do to make you not do that? <laughs> but again, and this is just me. This is just me. You can only see so many. Dick and balls being tortured. Uh, see so many dick jokes before you're like, you know what, I'm good. <laughs> I starts to wear thin. No, you ain't good yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently not. They kept coming. It was. And it, it, hey, look, I'm not saying that. Uh, that I'm I, again, not saying that they're doing a bad thing. I'm offended, you know, uh, because believe me, if there was, if, there, if this was a movie with women being topless all through the whole thing, nobody would have any complaints. It's just that the jokes of uh, always beating a nutsack are I, I, a penis. I, I hear you. Yeah, it was, it was just something that just wore thin. I've seen other movies where they had just a little bit more variety. Sure. And uh, this, I was like, what is the infatuation with digging malls? And, hey, still very entertaining, though. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I, it, I, I was okay with it. I mean, I had that moment of like, all right, maybe there's enough dick and balls. But then they would, they would do something else with it. I was like, okay, that was genuinely funny. Yeah. Y'all, y'all still got the magic, you know, the... I mean, what, four movies of watching them do these Three Stooges stunts. <laughs> and they still keep being funny. Watching, you know, these these friends, if you've seen the other movies, like, it's like your old friends. Like, it's a reunion yeah. of like, oh, man, getting to hang out with these guys. Again, not having to go through the shit they go through. And so often with these, it'll be the stunt that you don't think that much about that they get the, hurt the most over. The the one where they were a marching band and they were on the treadmill, yeah. they a bunch of them ended up in the hospital over that one. Yeah, they got head wounds over that. Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, Steve got a concussion from it. Yeah, no, he sure did. And um, and and they have some you see some some elaborate stunts where they they film it. It's a quick little thing, and they move on to the next thing. And if you read up, you find out there's all kinds of shit they did <coughs> that didn't even make it into the movie. Yeah, shit, there's all that. From some of the other Jackass movies, there's a stunt they did with Britney Spears that got cut out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, it's still very entertaining. I, I'm, I'm going to be one of those people who I'm not complaining about the movie, but I will say after all these films, I think it's, you know, the whole thing is starting to just wear a, a little thin with me. Just just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. You know, the, no, the novelty of Jackass is starting to wear off on me just a tiny bit. If they can keep it going with the younger crew, because, I mean, the, uh, now today the... the the, the 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 jackass brand has gotten more diverse. You know, this is a, mm. you know, they 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 finally got a black ass up in here. That's uh Jonah Dolphin. Some of you guys might know him from Lorder Squad, and also from Odd Future, which is why they have Tyler the Creator in there. Uh, his and his dad, <laughs> like he's cool. They don't they don't actually give him a whole lot in the movie. You know, they, you see, I mean, they give him a, they give him some things, but I don't know if the new people. I thought he did the most, and he was the most enthusiastic. He was enthusiastic, but. His his dad was funnier, like his dad. This his yeah, dad because it's like watching Michael K. Williams. <laughs> yeah, man, his dad was hilarious. His dad was the dude that you saw uh, being terrified of the uh, of the spider right here, like that. His his dad had these natural reactions, and they actually yes. <laughs> they actually let him joke around more. And his dad was funny, man. Uh, no, Jonah's funny too. I mean, he had a he had a. Uh, he had a bit on Lord of Squad where he played uh, Garfield. <laughs> he was the he, he was uh, Garfield was the roommate of somebody, uh-huh. and Garfield would beat the shit out of the roommate. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's funny if you see it. Maybe not if I tell it. Uh, this is the first time they got uh, female ass up in here. Yeah, they, uh, that's Rachel Wolfson. She doesn't do a lot of the craziest stunts, but she takes a lot of these uh, these painful insect bites, especially painful stuff to her mouth. Yeah, yeah, man. 
Uh, the ones that I see really living up to the crew, uh, if they continue with them, uh, they got a dude named uh, named Poopies, and he was he seems like the he he seemed like them in a yeah, way, yeah. <laughs> you know, he just crazy and, mm-hmm. and and don't even get me started with Zach Holmes. Yeah. This dude, he just he just happened to be there. He is. If you need something dumb or something dangerous, a crazy done, he's he's the first in line. Well, he's already got a bunch of teeth knocked out. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he, he's a he's a jackass fan. He's living the dream. Yeah. I I was I was refreshed by just watching the older guys to see how are they going to do, and I noticed that we man he was really kind of not into it. There's a lot of times he was just like. I don't want to do this. Or he was just, he, he, things were getting on his nerves. But they, they yeah. edited it to make it not look so much. But there were just plenty of times where he was just like, he was not feeling it. <laughs> and, and I enjoyed that aspect of it. You know, it, with the first Jackass, it, I mean, th- that was so novel. It was amazing that it worked. And I thought that was a high full price. The second one was a better than sex for me. Third one was more like a high matinee. And this one comes in kind of like a low full price. And okay. I'm kind of grading on the curve of them being older and still getting out there and doing yeah. it. Yeah. The fact that they can make it to a fourth movie and have it still be full, and I mean full of belly laughs. Yeah. Still great to see something so anti-Hollywood. Yes. You know, that's, I mean, they are still, you know, they're older, but they're still the rebellious teenagers of, of, of cinema, man. Mm-hmm. If I'm taking points off of something, that is that I thought the penis gags got a little bit old. There's just not a lot, of, a lot of variety right there. I just felt like I get it as a dick. All right. But uh, you know, it's still very entertaining, man. Still a lot of fun. And like I said, it's really cool just to see these guys still make you feel like you want to belong with them. That was the, even doing this crazy stuff oh. right here, just kind of like, man, like right there, that softball player. Yeah. <laughs> you know, doing this crazy stuff here. There's a part of me that said, you know, I still wish I could hang out with the crew. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a matinee. Probably a... Uh, you know, probably leaning towards a high matinee, but yeah, matinee for me. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 